I'm John Page, I'm responsible for aerospace design at the University of New South Wales. Each year we run five or six design projects for our final year aerospace engineering students. We have experts from industry, the top designers from all of Australia come to evaluate their work and to critique it. My name's James, I'm currently undertaking a degree in aerospace engineering at the University of New South Wales. The aircraft we had to design was a micro dirigible. This is similar to a blimp type structure like the Hindenburg, but on a much smaller scale. Uh, it's to be used for semi-collapsed buildings after a natural disaster to survey if there's any survivors inside. This year we were given the mission of a mustering helicopter. This is the very first time that the university has tackled a helicopter project. Um, and as far as I know, not many universities have what all the other helicopters are using, which is a standard sort of petrol, unleaded, um, what they call avgas. We went with diesel. So we're thinking about sort of an environmental advanced helicopter which will meet the specific needs of mustering. It's something that's it's based on a real life situation and it prepares us for the real world once we get out of here. Engineers have to be creative. The money that engineers earn for their company comes from their creativity. And I think this is something very underrated. People tend to think of fashion designers or building designers as being creative. But they don't tend to realise that engineering designers are also equally creative. And that's what we're desperately trying to generate in the work we're doing here. <laughs>